Hi, this is Chris from Optimus FX. Taking a look at the MetaTrader 4 trading platform. In front of you, I have the platform open and I have the terminal window open. If you do not have it open on yours, you can simply click on View and Terminal, and that pulls this particular box up. Now, the terminal window is going to be important because it shows you, you know, all the pertinent information about your um, trading account. But it also shows you quite a bit more. So for example, right now we have the trade tab open. And you can see it just has the equity balance free margin. It's all going to be the same because, well, we're not in a trade. But when you click on trade, click on new order, and you buy, for example, now all you can see, uh, now you can see the all the information about this particular trade. It shows how much margin is in the uh, market, how much free margin you have left, for example. So obviously that's important. But there's more to it than just this. There's news. So there is news that comes over the wires. You click on the headline, and it will pull this up. And depending on um, you know the the news, it may come from various different places. But that uh, is something that comes out. We have the exposure. Uh, we have the account history, and this is going to be important because you can see exactly how things have uh, turned out. And you can even uh, customize the account history. All history lasts three months, last month. You know, save as a report. If you save it in a, as a report, it comes back as an HTML file. Um, and a detailed report will show you like a performance uh, graph. So that is something that you can you know, download to your desktop. There is the mailbox for anything that comes from, uh, you know, the uh, broker, for example. Um, there is also uh, an experts tab and a journal. And the journal, as you can see, shows you everything that you've done. Like not only trade history, but just anything that you've done added in EA, that kind of thing. So alerts, this is probably one of the most powerful features about uh, the terminal but isn't really used as often as uh, one would think and uh, that's probably too bad because this gives you a lot of flexibility uh, to trade and pick and choose your trade so for example if you don't wish to place a pending order but you are interested in a particular currency pair once it reaches a certain price you know so you can kind of look uh, because uh, there may be news coming up or something like that. You don't want an order to necessarily fire off. You just want to see what the market's doing at that price. This is an excellent way to do that. So I am on the alerts tab in the terminal. I right click, click on create. And uh, you have to pull down your currency pair here in the chart. And this happens to be dollar yen. So if the bid is less than, and you can change this, uh, you can have time, ask, bid, whatever. If the bid is less than, say, in this case, we got in at about a, uh, 111.09. Let's just say we're concerned if it goes down to 110.50. Um, don't necessarily want to set an ex expiration date. Uh, you can change the sound file off of your machine if you have other WAV files you want to use. But you can click test, and it will play the ping. Uh, then you click OK and now you have an alert you see there's a red line so that if the market dips below there I'm going to get an alert I'm not necessarily gonna get stopped down perhaps there is something that I want to uh, think about there you know I want to think about possibly uh, cutting the position in half for example that kind of thing there's a lot of things or if there's a, an important announcement coming up and I feel that this pullback may not be crucial it may be the market kind of stepping away from uh, trading in front of the announcement maybe I just want to know that it's happened I don't necessarily want to do anything uh, you can see that you can hold and you can click and hold and drag it and it will adjust it much like uh, stop loss and uh, you know take profit type of order and with this you can see that it does show uh, quite a bit of uh, power in this terminal that uh, Eli, again unfortunately most people don't use it as much as they should you can click on the order and you can create another one you can modify you can delete in this case I'm gonna go ahead and click modify and you can see the same thing pulls up it shows where it's at right now and you know I want to 
drop it down to 109. Okay, and you see it drops down there. And then of course, I can right click and then click on delete and it just disappears. The terminal is a, a pretty powerful and most certainly a significant amount of uh, functionality in this particular uh, platform. And it allows you to monitor everything that goes on, all of the vital stuff, all of the kind of the behind the scenes stuff. Also, keep in mind that you can set multiple alerts, you can have multiple trades open, obviously, and you can modify them all. You can play different sounds if you have specific sound for a specific currency. And it gives you the flexibility to not necessarily be staring at the screen the entire time. This is especially true, again, with a trade. You know, you don't want to necessarily get out of, but you want to know you're in trouble. Or perhaps if it's a, a profitable trade, you want a, an alert to tell you, hey, maybe you might want to think about moving it up to break even. There's multiple reasons why you would use the alerts. And again, the account history, it gives, can give you a very detailed uh, type of look at how things have been going. So if you want to test a system, obviously that's very important to know. Thank you for watching.